right, so what are we doing today? Welcome to part two of our series, Making Our Humvee Deep Water Fording Worthy. The last video in this series, we had installed the deep water fording exhaust. If you haven't seen that video already, you can go ahead and check it out. And today we are installing the snorkel. I've been waiting for this one for a while. Let's get to it. There it is. Yes. Hopefully we got all of the parts. I think we do. And let's get to it. So we're gonna get the air filter out so we can uh, see better what's going on here. Because we haven't done this before. Yeah, this is actually the first time we take the air filter off. Wow, the air filter is like brand new, I swear. Probably when it was uh, serviced 12 years ago. But yeah, completely brand new. We do have a new one, but I think we can uh, just continue to use that one. Not bad. Let's see what we got here. Some pretty cool stuff. Okay. So, we completely can't see what's going on here. Well, it's good that we took it off. So next we'll take off this part. There you go. Now we gotta take this piece off. So much more so. All right, so if you guys wondering if you have a deep water fording option or system or some components in your Humvee, this is a good way to tell uh, because I didn't know at the beginning. We have a US Marine Corps Humvee and they, they do come with that, but I think this one was probably converted before they uh, demilitarize it. So I wasn't sure, but that's a pretty good way to tell. If you don't have the rubber elbow and you have this, you don't have the deep water fording uh, intake on it. So that's what we'll connect into. See that rubber thing right here? That rubber intake. That's exactly what we'll connect into. Awesome. All right. All right, so we're gonna loosen up this. We have here 1116 and 58 this side. Just so it's easier to do it later by hand when we're up there. Might be different for you guys, but that's what came with mine. So we're gonna go up there and get those uh, two uh, caps off and uh, put that baby in. So already. So I didn't tell you guys that, but one of the best things about owning a Humvee is that it keeps you in shape. You gotta climb up. You gotta lay down underneath the Humvee. It's like a bunch of uh, workout exercises. This guy's had paint on it. So I'm gonna just cut around it with a knife so it's easier. It's really in there. Whoop! One of them went, and the second one went out. Actually, the um, these parts can't remember what the name of those things, but the ones that actually I purchased with this bracket were 
all worn and, and in really bad shape. So we were able to find this at Home Depot, which is cool. It's kind of like a lock. And then as you tighten, this expands and seal the hole. And at the same time, um, just sits there just like that. I don't know why they didn't do bigger opening right here for the windshield. Um, windshield panel, whatever it is, uh, but it's gonna go like this. And then this elbow gonna go down there. You want it to be close to the, just tight as possible, I guess. I'm not tightening it all the way because I want some uh, slack here, some movement. And after we're gonna put the snorkel up, we'll see the adjustments needed and then uh, tighten it. All right guys, so obviously, once the elbow is inside, you can't tighten that clamp. That's on the uh, rubber side uh, elbow that connects to the intake. So what you gotta do is <clears throat> remove the whole intake box. Ouch. Connect the elbow and then slide it in through the hole and then it will be uh, connected properly. So this is our first time. We don't know if it's gonna be the last, but uh, yeah, we're learning as we go. There is another little hose in this one too. Probably will have to come off. And then we'll see how the whole thing gonna come out. Take this guys off as well, because I think we'll be able to take that off without. All right, so I have to take this clamp off because what it does, it goes around the drum and around this. So I have to take that one off, move this one to the side and disconnect that intake. And that's, and that's the way it will come, come off. And then I'm gonna try it without getting disconnect, getting this one disconnect, but tough. All right, so one more thing that needs to be replaced for the system to be actual functioning deep water fording system here is instead of having this drainage uh, fitting here, you see like basically it drains water out. With the deep water fording system, we're gonna have to take this off and put a cap right here to completely seal that. So when you go underwater, water won't go back in. Uh, I don't have it yet, so I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Um, but once we get it, um, I'm gonna replace that. So just remember, remember those things before you go into the river with your hunting, right? That would not be fun. No. All right, so the whole elbow needs to come off for you to be able to um, to attach it and slide it through the hole. As we mentioned before, short and got to go in. Anyway, we'll put this on and come back in a minute. All right, so looks like it's in. This is completely in, which is great. And now we are ready to tighten this. Okay, looks like it's tight and not going anywhere.
Right, I finally managed to put it in where it's supposed to go. And I ended up taking this intake piece off so I can move around. And I'm ready to tighten this and everything should go in. We'll see in a minute. which we will get back to this one at some point because this is part of the deep water fording system. So, and then there is another one, this little guy. I'm just gonna go back here. All right, voila. This is tight. This clamp. I think this is good. Awesome. Everything looks tight. I'm gonna tighten this up and we're gonna put our breather hose. It's gonna go like right here somewhere in behind us. We can connect it and let's tighten it. Smile. <laughs> good. It's probably good enough. I'm so excited. We're going to put the mushroom right up here and then we're going to put our so little solar panel charger for the battery main, the battery uh, main and everything. It's gonna be nice, it's gonna be nice. All right, so top one here is just a stop washer and that screw and the bottom one, which is this one, that will go in with, uh, with a bolt and a nut. See how nice it is when you see your wife standing on top of the Humvee, love it. Norco looks good already. Now, don't over tighten it because it's aluminum. So you guys just remember, don't over tighten it. Yeah, just until it's snug and that's it. And then you can kind of like still adjust the um, length of that little breathing hose. So the next one will go in with a clamp and the whole thing is supposed to connect to the hose right here and go inside into that. All right, and finally we're able to uh, find a clamp and a bolt and nut. And now I'm just gonna move it to where it's supposed to be. So this hose will go into here and connect into that. So you want it a little bit. I'm trying to lower it here. I think probably that will be good. We'll see after we put the mushroom in, but basically, uh, yeah, that looks good. All right, mushrooms goes in and then we'll adjust it again and tighten it. Go for it. Awesome. All right, guys, so don't forget, we're gonna change that to a cap and not to an open drainage. Don't forget to do that as well. Put the 
filter back in, which is amazing. It's in like a brand new condition. Now, just the last thing we gotta do is to adjust the breeder pipe, breeder hose next to the snorkel here, and we are done. This is a pretty good position for it. Make sure you put the spring washer on it here, if you choose to do the same thing. And then from here, we'll go into the connection here but not today all right so little recap what we had here deep water forwarding snorkel installed looks beautiful yeah i love it with the uh, mushroom and everything here definitely changed the look of the humby it's terrible for the visibility definitely changed the visibility but i love it not just for look this is the real thing that's actually going to be a functional deep water forwarding system here thanks for joining don't forget to like this video and stay tuned for the next part of this series we're going to start to work on the actual system uh, the deep water forwarding systems see you in the next one